we are developing a pest management program for organic strawberries that both organic growers and conventional growers can use. The national organic standards uh, tend to focus on three things, preventative techniques, um, cultural techniques, the use of biological control, and as a last result, the use of pesticides. Our program um, fits very nicely into this national organic standards in that um, first thing we, we try to do, we are screening varieties to look at potential varieties that are resistance, resistant to spider mites. The second thing we are actually do um, in terms of biological control, we are releasing predatory mites. The one that we actually focus in on is Neocelis californicus that we have worked on for the last um, five years, which is very good in terms of suppressing um, two-spotted spider mite population. In conventional agriculture, we are accustomed to spray uh, once every 10 to 14 days. Um, here, we, only, we can only use um, biological control, which is the predatory mites. Uh, these predatory mites, um, although they're effective in suppressing the two-spotted spider mite population, they don't do anything for secondary pests. And, and this seed bug we're talking about is a secondary pest that has become a major pest in organic agriculture. And, and the final thing that we are doing, we, and we will do this uh, in our new project coming up, is that we're going to be screening um, pesticides or organic registered pesticide um, for, for, for control of pests that we cannot control um, using biological control techniques. Monitoring should be a, an ongoing process and it should be continuous. Um, in strawberries, we are looking at three major pests. We have um, early season mite infestation. We also have problems associated with thrips. Uh, this is a, a mid-season um, pest problem. The one we see in Florida tends to be the Franklinella occidentalis, which is the western floral thrips. We know that if we can identify some new tools um, in organic, um, that can be used in organic agriculture, uh, these tools will be, ad be adapted very quickly by the growers, especially for this new invasive pest that we have, which is um, spotted wing Drosophila. The high tunnel system is an oven for pest growth and development. Um, the pest pressure in the high tunnel system is, is huge. Um, because of the fact that the temperature is moderate in terms of it's, it's always warmer in there, um, this actually supports the, the growth and development of um, insect. Um, population. Uh, in the open field, um, we have the natural weather conditions and we also have a lot more predators, um, um, or natural predators in the open field and this tend to suppress um, pest population. So the high tunnel definitely has higher pest uh, population than the open field.